Hey guys and guys, so we've got a I had this arrive from China, it's from DF Robot. Um, and they've asked me to do a review. So it looks from what I've seen online, it looks pretty cool. But it is the Micro McQueen micro bit robot. So really excited to try this out. Don't really know much about it, so I'm gonna have to work it out as I go along. But um yeah, it looks really cool. So you can see it's a little little robot, it's powered by a micro bit and it's got sensors and lights so very exciting oh. mm. so these are quite cheap as well they're uh, retailing at about uh, 20 pound I'll put the link in the description below so let's have a look nice packaging DF robot drive the future Okay, so I think, like I said, this is the version, there was a version 1 that came out. So, quite compact. You can buy loads of add-ons for this. I've had a quick look on their website, and I'll show you in a second. What have we got? So, we've got some wheels. Uh, sensors. Battery pack. And the main board. I think this should be quite easy to get going as well. So uh, let's check out their website and take a look and see what it says. Okay, so this is the DF Robot website. This is where you can get McQueen from. And they sell loads of other cool electronic stuff. Um, but this is the site for McQueen. So $21.90, price pretty low. Um, and it's, it's awesome. I mean, line tracking, avoidance sensors. Uh, it's got a built-in... Uh, buzzer you got the uh, left and right LEDs the color changing super cool so let's get this thing built and see what we can do with it okay so putting this thing together should be quite simple we've got the main board we've got the battery pack the two wheels the sensor um, this is uh, it's almost like double sided tape but it's like sticks together it's quite cool not sure the name for that dual lock uh, okay we've got a micro bit so what we do is we take the board and attach the wheels and it should technically just be push on needs a little bit of force Quite stiff. Okay, we're going to take the tape, unpeel one side of it, and put it across the these two parts here. Some sort of motors that will drive the wheel. You stick that down okay and then we're going to take another one and pop it onto the battery pack and that should quite simply like stick on there uh, with this I'm gonna connect this up into here That's pretty cool, just clicks on, holds quite nicely. Uh, we've got the sensor, this is a thing, and I don't know if this comes as standard, um, but it's pretty cool. I think that will just clip into here, like so. And then the micro bit should just slot in, and that's McQueen put together. So we'll grab some batteries and put some batteries in. So I think it's uh, double A, three of them. And then we will put some programming, or some programs together and see what we can get little, little thing to do. But that is super exciting. Okay, so this is the wiki for the 
robot from DF Robot, the McQueen. So on here, there's a really good step-by-step -step guide that you need to follow. So it goes to the introduction, it tells you a bit about the robot, what is McQueen, and what the features of McQueen are. So it supports, uh, it's got support for make code, and will support Scratch and Python later. Small size, flexible movement. Um, if we have a look at the function diagram, we can see uh, it's got some really cool stuff. So it's got two red light sensors left and right. We've got um, a line sensor, buzzer. Okay, it's got two uh, motors for movement. So quite a lot of cool things we can do with this. Uh, the specifications on screen now. So if you want some more technical details, you can go through this, but this lists everything. Um, weight's pretty good, 75.55 grams and so on and so forth and you can see it's got a really good step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up and put it together and how to get started and that's what we're going to be looking at now just getting some code onto uh, McQueen and seeing how it goes so you can see here we need to click the make code microbit.org link and we're going to need to import the github extension so we're going to copy that now and we're going to click the make code link to go to the make code website and once we're there, what you need to do is click on new project, uh, go up to the cog at the top, click it and click extensions. And we're then going to, in the URL or project URL, click and paste. And we're going to paste that GitHub link and search. And that gives us the McQueen extension. Just click it. And as soon as you clicked it, you can see here that we've got a McQueen uh, command option. So if we click that, we can see some of the things we can do with McQueen. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go to basics and we're going to select some forever iteration. We're going to go to McQueen and we can set the first motor and it's M1. And we're going to set it to clockwise with a speed of 255. Um, we can then duplicate that. And we'll set that to M2, which is the other motor, and we'll set that to 255. Again, the same direction. Back to basics, I'm going to add a pause of 1000. We can then duplicate the motors. And the pause. And we're going to set this to 255 and then the second one to zero. Again, still counterclock, uh, still clockwise. And we'll duplicate those twice. Drop them into the block. And we're going to make that zero. And we'll make this one 255. Duplicate the pause. Again, duplicate again. And this time we're going to have 255. And we're going to change this from clockwise to counterclockwise, which is CCW, and that's for both of those motors. Duplicate the pores. Duplicate the motors. And again, counterclockwise, and the speed's going to change. So the first one's going to be two for five, the second one will be zero. Duplicate the pause, and we are good to go and ready to get this onto the micro bit. So, literally, just going to take the micro bit out of um, the McQueen and it just pull it out straight out and then connect it up to the PC, and we'll copy the code across. Okay, so we need to get this code onto the micro bit. So we're going to go um, up to the cog icon and we're going to pair device. Okay, now if you haven't got the latest firmware, when you go to pair, you will get an error. Um, check out my other video on how to upgrade the firmware on your micro bit. Okay, so it says here how to do that if you want to follow the steps. So mine shows up fine. I can see micro bit. Um, in the box so I'm just going to select that and click connect and then I can hit download and that will download my code to the micro bit 
and we are good to go and we can test out the um we can test out the mcqueen okay so we've loaded our code onto mcqueen and we're going to see if he actually works so there's a little on off switch at the back micro bits connected And there he goes, look at that. To turn him off, just hit the off button at the back. So that's pretty cool. McQueen. So we're gonna do some other videos with this. Um, Hope that's been helpful. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think of it below. And uh, we'll see if we can get him to do some line sensing in the next video.